What's up, y'all? This is Anthony D. Mays, tech interview coach at Morgan Latimer Consulting, morganlatimer.com, and software engineer at Google. And today, I just want to share three tips that will help you as an intern make the best of your transition from your internship back to school. Just real quickly, tip number one, get contacts. So hopefully you've been cultivating a network of people and friends and colleagues at whatever company you've interned. It's important to be intentional about cultivating those relationships even when you're not at the company. And so make sure that you are sending a message maybe once every couple of months just to let people know how you're doing uh, or to find out about how your project went, keeping in touch whether you know, over something like LinkedIn, or over the phone, or by email, what have you. There's so many options. The point is to be intentional about doing that. Just keep those lines of communication open. You never know how uh, someone that you develop a relationship with now uh, can be helpful to you in the future, or how you might be helpful to them. Now, the second tip that I have for you is this. Make sure to update your resume if you haven't already. You know, as you're working and as you have worked on new projects and taken on new opportunities, you want to make sure that that's reflected in your resume. It's a whole lot easier to update your resume now while the information is still fresh versus waiting so long when the details start to get fuzzy. If you've maintained good contacts, you can always call them up, you know, maybe your host manager or your colleague and find out, hey, you know, how's the work that I did? You know, how many users are using it? Um, you know, it, how many ratings is it getting in the Play Store, whatever that may be. But the idea is to get as many measurable stats as you can. And a lot of times it takes time for that information to come along. And so be mindful that, you know, you want to go and get that and make sure that it's reflected on your resume so that those measurable numbers really make you uh, and your resume tell the story that you wanted to tell, namely that you're a person that gets things done and demonstrates impact. Third thing that I recommend, make sure that you continue using the skills that you've gained in your internship. Finding coursework or classes that are strongly aligned with some of the principles and concepts that you've learned, take advantage of that. Try to cross-pollinate the things that you've learned uh, while working with the things that you're learning in academia. You don't have to just take a class. You can also do a personal project or do something with open source. You'll find that those skills, as you grow, as they grow stronger throughout the school year, can help you secure new kinds of opportunities for the next summer or the next year. So those are my three tips. Maintain uh, your contacts and make sure that you continue to cultivate your network. Um, update your resume, make sure that you keep it fresh. And lastly, uh, try to use the skills that you've learned in your internship during the school year. If you found these tips useful, hopefully you can check out more of my tips at anthonydmays.com. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what tips you might have. Uh, I'd be more than happy to dialogue with all of you uh, so that we can help our interns out. Last but not least, if you ever need any coaching, feel free to visit morganlatimer.com where I've got options for folks who are looking to conquer technical interviews at places like Google and Facebook and Amazon and what have you. Uh, I wanna be helpful. So anyway, this is Anthony D. Mays. Thanks for tuning in and uh, peace.